the scope of this thing is is uh, the biggest you've seen? Yeah, it's as big a show as, as I think I will have seen because I haven't seen the stadium show, but it's uh, just from everything we've read and, and seen and drawings and stuff like this, it's it's absolutely you know unprecedented as far as something coming here. Uh, Would you agree with me that Roger Waters has gone from kind of like years ago kind of angry recluse to workaholic? That's where the art comes, though, right? Because you, if, if you listen to interviews with him, his all his creativity and all that stuff comes from this um, intensity and artistic endeavor, and his whole he, he channels so much of that into the art, and that's where then if you actually have somebody who wants to work and then contribute and create something, that it's going to be something. You, you have to have all that to create something like this, right? Like the, the shiny, happy people of the world don't go make. <laughs> You know what That's I mean? True, they they, I they don't yeah. go out and make. I yeah, mean, yeah. if you you know, suffer. guys like you and me, we don't go do this. But it's like if, if you have that kind of um, capacity intellectually and, and creatively to Channel go build pain, this. Paul. Exactly. Pain. So, uh, okay, back and back the whole story of the wall was that, right? Yeah, the whole true. story was like alienation and, and um, his whole kind of detachment from society and then it became this whole kind of theater piece but now he's out there he did a week on uh pink boy week on jimmy fallon he was there i was amazed with that yeah i think i also think that he's probably found this place in his life i'm not speaking for him but where he's finding this whole touch point to a whole other generation where the themes all still work right i mean it it and that's that's the best part it just doesn't feel like he's just going out and you know going and playing all the old hits but he's actually going and playing an entire concept that has transcended generations That's what one, one more thing back to logistics now how many trucks involved and how long to set up for a show of this this scope i want to say it'll probably be four or five days to set it up <laughs> yeah i mean by the time the guys first come in here and and all the uh, you know the stadium shows all take a while to build a uh, thousand bricks in the in the wall uh like i said 500 feet wide yeah. i mean it's it's a it's a big big show and um, yeah, four or five days. I want to say you know, it'll be fifty plus trucks. Yeah, it'll be. this is going to be the big test for rock shows in BC Place. What are your thoughts? This is the one to do it, and this is. And I think for us, we were really cognizant of putting the right show in here first, and, and trying to do the right thing for the venue and the city. So that it's like, okay, you know, this is how great it can be. You know, setting the bar high, but it would be better than coming in here with a half big show that, that doesn't really warrant playing a stadium and doesn't really have the production or doesn't really have the theater or doesn't really have the concept. This is the one, I think. To, to Are the days of the Echo Dome over, Paul? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, I think that um, with the lack of the you know vacuum pack in here will help. And, um, and, I, and I also think that uh, technically, like all the gear, all the speakers, all the sound equipment is that much better. Yes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you were here for ACDC, but it sounded a ton better than. It was than, incredible. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a lot better. I think you know this will be even better, and um, so that really helps, right? I mean, it's not 1986, and and you're not playing off a whole bunch of that old gear. And you put 40,000 people or acting as sound baffles in here it makes a big difference exactly exactly so and you know that, that's part of the i think that's part of the magic too right you can't that's why shows suck when they when you got twenty thousand people in here and a bunch of empty seats so don't do it big announcement thank you paul all right thanks Steve.